now in this class we are going to talking about uh, one of the utility, uh, utility package that is random class so all the classes till now whatever we have discussed is a part of utility class that's why the chapter name is talking about utility classes so we are following the same book the java complete reference and also some of the other sources now coming to the actual topic that is random class in java the name it's talking about random random means pick up in some values randomly but not in a continuation fashion it will be pick without any logic it will pick some random values that is called as random it is not like uh, only pick the odd numbers only pick the even numbers only pick the prime numbers it is not at all like that it will pick randomly any values there without any logic for that one. that is called as random okay so let me have discuss in detail about this random class so coming to the definition of random class the random class is generated of a pseudo number now normally a random class is a generator of pseudo random number pseudo random number is nothing but already you are playing the pseudos right so this pseudos are going to be talking about the pseudo numbers is making a random numbers or called as generation of generating a pseudo random numbers is called a, is the purpose of random class now these are called pseudo random numbers because they are simply uniformly distributed the sequences okay now as i said you every time for a particular class there will be a constructor so to create this random class we are having two constructors random can be defined with the help of two constructor one is with zero parameter constructor the second one is with one parameter constructor okay the zero parameter constructor the first version creates a number of random numbers once you are calling this random uh, constructor it will create some random numbers but how many random numbers up to which limit it will be generated it is a re reasonably a unique seed reasonably unique seed is nothing but here seed nothing but the range up to what value it will be generated it's up to depends on that it will be generated up to a particular range coming to the second constructor with having a one parameter that one parameter is a seed one that is seed and nothing but range if you are specifying 100 as a seed value it will generate from 0 to 100 a random numbers if you mention the seed value as 1000, it will generate from 0 to 1000 the random numbers. Okay. It will give limit the range of generating the random numbers in the second constructor. In the first constructor, it is reasonably, it gives some a specific uh, range of random values. Okay. So the second version allows you to specify a seed value manually. Okay. So these are the two constructors are for the random class. Now, as I said, you for every class, there will be constructors as well as there will be some methods. What is the purpose of that methods is to make the behavior of the class to make to perform the behavior of the class. We are going to using this uh, methods over here. Now, in this random in this uh, random uh, class, once whatever the object you are going to be generating, whatever the object you are going to be generating. Now, the object how you are going to be generating here. Now let's see how to create a uh, object for random class. Random say or object equal to new random, right? This is the object you are creating. Now or obj is what is a random object. It's a random object, right? Now what will be there in this random or obj is a set of the random values are available in or obj object. Agree? Now, out of that ROBJ object, which is consisting of, it is pointing to some set of random values. Among that set of random values, which is generated by the random constructor, I want only Boolean. What is the next Boolean random number? Right. So see here now. Now let me talk about uh, now when now when you are going to creating an object when you are creating an object for uh, this uh, class random or random class. Now it will create a object like for example or obg. Now or obg is going to be pointing for a set of random values over here. Now, out of that random set of values, 
out of the total random values, whatever we are having. Among that set of random values, if I want, what is the next Boolean random number? If I want, what is the next integer random number? If I want, what is the next float random value? If I want next double random value, if I want the next, what is the Gaussian random value to get some set of values over there, we are going to using this method. Hope you remember some of the methods in scanner class. We have already seen some of the methods in the scanner class, like next Boolean. We have seen next double, next floor, next in. We are going to have seen next long. These are some of the methods we have seen over there, right? Now the scanner class, what is the difference of these methods and that method is the scanner class is reading the input from a particular command prompt but from it through the keyboard or from the file or from the string. This from that set of what, whatever it is going to be scanning, whatever it is reading by the scanner object. From that, if I want to pick only the integer values, if I want to read the integer value, I'm using next in. If I want to read the string, I'm using next line. If I want to read the float values, next float. If I want to read the double, next double. If I want to read the Boolean, next Boolean, it will be going to be catching from that. Like this, we are having going to using there in the scanner class. The object which is calling by this method is scanner class object. So it will perform, it will read that values. Now here, with the help of the random object, with the help of the random object, whatever it is generated in this example, whatever has shown you or OBJ, it is consisting of some set of random values. For that set of random values, if I want to get the next Boolean random number, it will be using next Boolean. If I want the next double random number, I can use next double. If you want the next float value, next random, next float random value, I can use next float. If you want the next int, I can use the next int random number. If I want the next uh, long random number, I can use next long. Like this, we can also have the next bytes Next bytes is going to passing an array. See the parameter for the next byte uh, method. It is passing and vals array. It is an array. It is going to pass. In. If the array is nothing but say, for example, you are creating an array of bytes array of 10 size. Now it will generate a 10 different random bytes, bytes random values. It will be stored in that particular array. So if you are giving, creating a bytes array of 10 size, now it will be generated. The next bytes will be generated. 10 bytes that is next 10 bytes random numbers will be stored into this array right so like this we are having uh, next gaussian also we can also set the seed value with the help of seed set we can also having the one parameter uh, of the next int one parameter of the next int if you are specifying n value as 10 for example from 0 to 10 what is the next integer random value it will return by the next uh, next int of int here. if you specify n value as 100 from 0 to 100 what is the next integer random value? It will be written by that. Okay. So to specify the range, we are mentioning n value here. If you don't have any specified range, you can use next int simply. Okay. So with the help of these two constructors and with the help of this method, let me run a small program which can understood very clearly. So this program is demonstrating of the random methods over here. So I'm creating, like I have already said you, where the random uh, this class is available in util package. If you are not aware of that, I just simply import java.util.star. If you are aware of the class name, you can import import java util dot java dot util dot random, the specific class name. If you are confusion, just use the star. All the classes will be available over here. I'm creating a class called as random methods. I'm calling the main method and I'm creating a random object here. So once it is creating random object up to a specified seed, up to a some specified range, this random value, this random is consisting of some random values over here, some different random values up to a specified seed. We don't know that up to what is the seed level because you are not mentioned the range here. So by default, it based on the compiler, based on the compiler, the, it will take care up to some specified seed. It will generate the different random values over here, right? Now from that random values, what we are doing is random dot next int of 10, next int of 10, we are mentioning from zero to 10, the range from zero to 10, what is the next integer random number that will be written by this line random dot next int of 10 means 10 is nothing but the range from 0 to 10 what is the next integer random value that will be written by this line similarly this random object from this random object 
what is the next boolean random number it returns from this random object random dot what is the next double random it will return from this random object what is the next float random value it will returns from this random object it will return the next gaussian random value in similar fashion we are also having a bytes random value right so for that purpose i am creating a byte array you know already how to create an byte uh, array what uh, maybe what type of uh, data type we can create it the size here we are mentioning is 10 the total size of this array is 10 now random dot next bytes of 10 now what will we do this uh, line it will create in this one it will create 10 different 10 next byte random values it will create how we can we say 10 the size of the array is 10 we are mentioning 10 here so it will be going to be create the 10 next bytes random value 10 next byte random values it will be created this statement what is the parameter we are passing here we are passing as bytes what is the byte size bytes is an not a variable it's a array bytes is an array of size is what 10 so that's why it this statement random dot next bytes of bytes will return 10 next bytes random values will be there to display that one what we are going to using is we are just using a square bracket here like uh, to display the values here square bracket and from i equal to zero bytes dot length up to that it is displaying this one already has said you in the scanner scanner is an complement of formatted class so formatted class is already there formatted class how instead of the printf uh, printlm print we are going to using printf here we can also use printf when you are going to using printf we can use the format specifiers for integer it is a percentage d for float it is a percentage here like this also there in java you can also use printlm here that is not a problem but you can use just as a concatenation but in the printlm this format specifier doesn't support percentage d percentage f percentage c percentage s all such type of things will not support in the printlm but in printf you are using you can use the format specifiers okay so if you are using printlm no need to use this one the, uh, directly you can use bytes of array if you want sp spaces between that values you can use plus the double quotation you can use the spaces okay like this also if you want to mention comma you can use again in the double quotation plus comma you can add it like this you can do it okay now it will display the 10 uh, the next uh, byte random values will be displayed over here now end of the square bracket here it is starting here it is ending here okay now next uh, long value from the random object uh, we are displaying the next long random value the next uh, uh, int that is uh, in the random from the random object the next int of next integer of uh, next integer random value it will be displayed over here so in this program how many random values for how many type of uh, random values are displaying one is next int of 10 second next boolean third next double four next four fifth one next gaussian over here and the sixth one it is a bytes and seventh one long in uh, next long and eighth one next in so for remaining except this for this and for this uh, 10 the remaining it will taking the uh, random values from this object itself okay so let me run the program so that you can understood very clearly about this so already i have uh, the program here just really open the program so random methods dot java here is the program so it will package importing random methods and calling the main method and creating a random constructor object and now calling int next int of 10 next boolean next double next float next gaussian this is for byte this is for byte displaying of the values and next long next int just run the program go to the command prompt from this address bar i am going to the command prompt and just compiling java c space uh, the name of the program is random methods dot java okay if no errors can run the program java space random methods now see here when you are running how many outputs are there here uh, how many uh, random values you are generating totally eight so here eight values it is showing see one two three four five six seven eight total now in these are values the first output is what here uh, it is showing the first output is this is the first one so between the 0 to 10 it has to display a random value here now see if i run one more time when you are running for the second time the first time it is a value as three next time is four we can't say that always the when you are running for n number of times 
it gives the random values are same for when you are running for every time it gives the new new values new new values are same values it depends on the random constructor next is a false here here also false here is the next is the float value right here is the float uh, next is what after boolean is a double next is float next is gaussian now here also here also uh, it is a double it is a float 0 0.2 and here 0 0.68 here and the float value is 0 0.5 and see the gaussian value here minus 1.14 six like this here 1.72 like this and the 10 bytes values uh, here is 69 minus 10 minus 4 minus 8 minus 51 minus 60, uh, 87 like this here 57 43 61 like this it is going to display here the next is long long value here 8597 and here is 8638 and here is the uh, the last value integer minus 1490 and here 4538 uh, like this the values if you are running for the next time if you're running, say, for example, if you're running for the next time, see, the outputs are different. See, five, false, zero, like this. Here, three, four, five, it is giving different values here. Okay. So that's about uh, the uh, random class in this Java. Okay.